Colonel, in your opinion, who does bear the ultimate responsibility of the dead Marines, the billions of gear we left behind, um, the equipment left behind in the global chaos we see unfolding after the Afghanistan withdrawal? So I think the president said it best when he said the buck stops here, and I think that that's, that's where we need to stay is the buck stops here. Colonel, in the Marine Corps, when they were teaching you guys leadership, uh, what they teach you about accountability? The one thing that, uh, one of the many things they taught us was you can delegate responsibility, you cannot delegate accountability. Colonel, do you, uh, do you feel, do you see any accountability for this withdrawal of Af Afghanistan and our dead Marines? At this point, we have not seen accountability. Colonel, what would you like to see happen going forward? Uh, acknowledgement that the, uh, that there could have been better options and that uh, our way of withdrawal was in fact chaotic. Ambassador Sells, I'll ask you the same question. What would you like to see moving forward? I'd like to see accountability, Congressman, um, for a, a colossal um, foreign policy and national security failure of, failure of the sort that we saw um, in Afghanistan. Um, I would like to see accountability for the decisions that were made. Do you think that's possible after watching the video that we watched at the beginning of this hearing? Um, well, Congressman, I, I have to say I was discouraged by the statement that the White House put out um, a week or so ago, um, which seemed to be more interested in pointing fingers than in learning lessons. I'm hopeful that congressional oversight can help uh, bring the accountability that's needed.